Friedrich's ataxia, or FA, is first usually diagnosed uh, in childhood as clumsiness, but unfortunately it's a progressive neurodegenerative disease where it worsens over time and ultimately the patient becomes incapacitated and confined to a wheelchair. The cause of death in most patients is heart failure. Unfortunately, there are no treatments that are available that will either halt or stop the course of the disease. But the good news is that work in a lot of labs have pointed out several therapeutic options. Here at Scripps, uh, we work on the um, molecular basis of Friedrichs. We uh, discovered this small molecule that could reactivate the functionality of the gene that is responsible for, for the disease. And uh, in collaboration with, um, with a, a few pharmaceutical companies, we were able to uh, develop these drugs and study these drugs in animals so that we could um, enter a first phase one clinical trial. The trial was done on only 20 patients, uh, but um, it was uh, successful. It, was, um, it showed that uh, we can actually uh, increase the functionality of the gene, the expression of the gene in patients that were those with the drug. So the next step will be to find a molecule that has better pharmacological properties than the original lead molecule. And once that's done, another round of clinical trials will be done. And then efficacy trials can be done to actually see whether the molecule will improve the neurological outcome in the disease. Knowing patients with FA have, has brought an urgency to this research, and as well as a commitment and my whole lab feels this way.